Hello, Gemini. This is your tarot reading regarding love for the next three months. So I am not going to lie. This is not the video I had intended on putting up. I actually filmed an entire series of soulmate videos as per the Zodiacs. And so many of them uh, were talking more about what I perceived to be friendships. And I mean, there are so many different types of soulmate relationships, not just romantic. But these ones, so many of them seem to focus on friendships. And with it being February and Valentine's Day, I just assumed that that was not what people were going to want to see in a soulmate video. So I'm now filming these love related and what we can expect for the next three months in terms of your love life tarot readings. Um, I still have all of those soulmate videos filmed. If you do want to see them, let me know down in the comments down below. And I will put those tarot readings up. But yeah, I just, I didn't feel comfortable. I mean, the readings are good, but I just didn't feel comfortable. But that that is what people would want when they clicked on a soulmate reading and being a new channel it made me nervous so if you want to see those soulmate readings understanding that soulmates are not just romantic relationships they can also be friendships they can be family ties they can be so much more and so much deeper than just romantic um let me know in the comments below if you want me to put that up and I will because I mean I spent many, many, many hours filming those videos, but, um, yeah. And I do have, yes, an eczema flare on my hand, and it's, it's there. It's, I'm not going to ignore it, so that's what it is, in case you're wondering. I, I have eczema. So anyways, let's get into these tarot readings. So what messages do you have for Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Regarding love. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Four of Wands. The Tower. Princess of Wands. And the Ten of Wands. Lots of wand energy. Who else had lots of wand energy? Was it Aquarius? Or was it Pisces? Someone else had a lot of wand energy as well. For you guys, I'm feeling like... This Princess of Wands and Ten of Wands is really telling a huge part of this story. Um... It's like right now you've got two possible outcomes, right? You've got the Four of Wands, which is, you know, it's it's often seen as a marriage card. It's ceremony. It's commitment. It's, you know, long-term bonds with someone. But then we have this Tower card. And it's almost like, which direction is this going in? And I'm almost feeling like a lot of it has to do with your mindset. So we have the Princess of Wands here, and she's just looking out over the mountains. Just she's, she's longing for someone. She's got these roses in her hands. It's like she's just waiting for her Prince Charming. Um, now, you don't have to be in a heterosexual relationship. You don't have to be looking for your quote-unquote Prince Charming. It's just, that's what I'm sensing. She's a princess. That's what we're going with, okay? Um, but, she, you know, she's out there waiting. She's longing and waiting. And it's almost like she's not feeling like she is deserving of it. And she's just going to sit back and just wait for it to come because hopefully it's going to come. And when will my Prince Charming rescue me, Okay? I feel like if this is the energy that you're going to be in, 
then this tower is going to kind of def- going to define your love life. Like it's going to be like you can't just wait around. You need to take action. You can't just rest on being a pretty face, you know? I mean like <laughs> yeah, you're beautiful. We get it. But is that all you are? And I'm not saying that's all you are, but if that's all you're putting out to the universe, like so many say Disney princesses where, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm sleep. I'm thinking of like sleeping beauty where she's just sleeping away and waiting for Prince Charming to come and kiss her and everything will be magical. Right. It doesn't happen that way in real life. Right. You need to get out there. You need to work hard to be who you are, right? You need to have confidence in who you are. You need to have strength in who you are. You need to understand, ultimately, who you are. And within that understanding of who you are will also come the understanding of who you want in a partnership. Um, And now this might also reflect this tower moment because sometimes we have to have those bad relationships in order to understand what it is that we want, okay? Um, bad relationships, quote-unquote bad relationships that didn't that served their point in the time but are no longer relevant to who we are or where we're going, they were still a part of our story and were there for a reason, okay? This tree, even though it's been struck by lightning and is falling down, still had a purpose in the moment and it could have taught you something so instead of looking out into the distance for maybe that tree to regrow um what can you learn from that tree you know how can you um move forward do you cut the tree up and you take it home and use it to heat your stove right like do you use it for fuel for your fire to reach for something better do you take the the tree and turn it into a tree house? Like, who knows, right? Um, but it is about doing work, putting in the effort. And I'm like, not really physically, right? Like, I, I mean, I know they're physically climbing up with these baskets of watermelons on their back. But this is more metaphorical work, understanding why past relationships haven't worked um, and understanding that maybe there are elements of those partners that aren't something that you want in a partner moving forward, okay? Um, this could like this this could also really symbolize looking to the future. So what it is, sorry, what is it that you want out of your future? What kind of a relationship is it that you want? Do you want marriage? Do you want someone who is stable and helping you through thick and thin? Um, What is it that you want? Okay, it's it's really... um, Again, it's, it's a mental process to figure out where you want to go with this relationship. Um, and I mean, I don't, it's bugging me that this tap is just running. I'm feeling like it really has something to tell us, but I'm just, You know, she's got these she's got these letters and she's just waiting, longing for this person to come. And the water is just, just flowing and flowing and flowing and yet she's standing there. And it's almost like you can't be stagnant where you are. I feel like this princess is really telling us so much about almost what's blocking you from moving forward, whether you're in a relationship or whether you are um, wanting a relationship to come into your life. Um, 
I'm feeling very stagnant energy. And this card with this flowing water is just saying like you need to get moving, whether it be your physical body moving, whether it be your thoughts moving. There's just the things that need to move. And maybe that's where this tower comes in. Maybe something has to fall down. Something has to be changed in order for um, relationships to move forward for you. We've got two very positive cards on the outside, but we're kind of stuck in this, this energy. Maybe this is being hung up on a past relationship, which is, which is preventing you from moving forward with a new relationship. I just feel like there's so, there is so much going on. Let's get some oracle cards to clarify. Let's start with the tower. Okay, hello. No place like home and poised. Just hanging up. She looks pretty poised, so I'm going to put that there. And no place like home. Underneath the treehouse. And this house is just suspended here. Hanging. It's like you've put this ideal up on this pedestal when instead you should be putting yourself up on this pedestal. Are you wondering if you're even worthy of love, Gemini? Maybe that's what it is. You're afraid to put yourself up on this pedestal, so instead you're putting kind of this um, idea of the perfect home life, the perfect partner, the perfect, 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 the whole idea of perfect up on this pedestal when really you should be putting yourself up on the pedestal. Fork in the road. Yeah, you need to change, there's, you need to change directions. It's interesting because we've got this no place like home and it's kind of like hanging from this shepherd's hook in the middle of nowhere. Like it feels like it's unachievable for you. And then we've got this ten of wands, which is, you know, I was originally seeing it as like, look at this bounty that they're taking home. But at the same time, look how far away that house is. And are you feeling like it is so far away? But I mean, did they really have to travel this far to get those watermelons? Maybe there was somewhere closer. They could have planted their field up on this hilltop with them. I feel like the best advice, Gemini, that I can give you for love for the next three months is to focus on yourself, okay? Focus on what it is that you want. Focus on your skills, your abilities, um, what makes you capable and deserving of love because you are deserving of love. But it's like you need to be able to put yourself up on this pedestal instead of the relationship. You're not defined by a relationship, you are you regard like and it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not that relationship doesn't need to define your worth as a human between this fork in the road and the tower it's like there's something that needs to change and i'm really feeling like it's your mindset of constantly searching for something that is perfect Perfect never really exists. Like, I hate to break it to you, but perfect is the killer of good. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Yeah, what are you afraid of? By putting this up on a pedestal, 
It's like you're saying that you're not worthy of it. And why? What are you afraid of? Why are you afraid to accept that you are deserving, are worthy of all of this? It's like you're waiting for this tower to happen. You guys might even be in a relationship right now and you're just, you're so focused on fear and darkness that you're like, well, when's, when is he going to break up with me or when is she going to break up with me? Um, when is this relationship going to fall apart? You know, you're just, you're waiting for kind of the next best thing because you assume that this is already going to fall apart. But he need, he, th there needs to be a fork in the road. If this is a relationship worth being in, then it's a relationship worth believing is going to last you for as long as you want it to last. Because you are deserving of this relationship. It's not about thinking this person's going to cheat on you or they're going to leave you or any of that. It is about enjoying the moment and understanding that you are worthy of each and every moment full of love. Um, and seeing past this fear. I feel like this fear is really from past conditioning. And it is going to take a lot to move forward from. But we need to go with the flow instead of trying to stop it. And maybe that's why I was being so drawn to this spigot with the water always coming out. You know, you need to stop trying to stop it. I was like, turn off the water, you're being wasteful. But maybe it's not about stopping this flow. And it's about letting things flow through your life. Sometimes we need to let go of things. Sometimes we need to let it continue through. But it's not about being afraid. It's about learning that every moment is valuable and that we can embrace every moment. So that is my reading for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you want me to put up that soulmate video. Um, I feel like Gemini was one of the few that actually did seem like it was in regards to a romantic relationship, but <laughs> I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want me to put that up. And if you enjoyed this reading, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Love, light and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye guys.